There's going to be some new ads on these cigarette little boxes coming up. I mean, we talked about these on Fox Business a while ago. We showed the ads. They're really, I guess vulgar is a good word for it. I don't know if they're going to work, though. Jordan Zimmerman is here in studio. I didn't even know you were going to be here, sir. I'm so psyched you're here. Hey, Trace. How you are good. you? good. You're tan. Yeah. Okay. So this is from uh, 2009. The FDA says you're going to change the warning label on these little cigarette boxes. That's right. Right? Little things. Yep. I don't smoke, so I'm sort of, I know nothing. Because right now, all it says is warning, basically, this could kill you. Yes. Pretty much, right? Yep. So then we're going to show some guy with a tracheotomy smoking, and right, you know, there's a guy whose chest was cut open. Yep. All these, all, there, the warning labels are up right now. If I'm not mistaken, they all have to do this by uh, October 2012. Do you actually think this is going to make a difference? You make a big difference. First of all, it's really? on the front and back of the package, color, 50% of the front of the package, 50% of the back of no the package. Way. Absolutely. It's not that big. I, I, Where are you going to write Marlboro? Like it, across the top, and that's it. And some of the, some of the countries, <gasps> they actually took the brands and they just have it very small in the packages and just have the warning labels or the pictorials that are on there. Really? Yeah. Now, I know there's like 40 countries doing this already. Yes. We're like way behind the eight ball on Yes, this. we are. But it's, isn't it much like, Jordan, when they did, um, you have to put all the nutritional content now every time you go into Dunkin' Donuts. Did that actually stop people from going? In Canada alone, it went from 26% of the public smoking to 20% of the public smoking. And I think if they continue to evolutionize the actual pictorials on the packages, it'll absolutely start to deter people from smoking. And I think these pictorials are shocking, but I think yeah. they'll do a big job. And, you know, look, we had 443,000 people last year that the deaths associated with smoking. That's incredible. That's way too many. And you can see still the youths are out there still smoking. And you and I have children, and, you know, we don't want our kids smoking. We know how bad it is. But, like, the, I turn to people that smoke now. You know, I know there's so many places, New York City, you can't smoke in a bar. But you go outside, the party's outside. That's right. Everybody's outside smoking still, right? These people all know what's going to happen to them. Everyone can tell you a story about someone that died from smoking, and yet people still do it. I don't think there's big, listen, there hasn't been changes on the packages for 25 years. You're right. Okay, and it, right. Cost, it cost us, the taxpayers, $200 billion a year in medical costs and also in the loss of productivity. That's crazy. Right, because all crazy people numbers. now have to go downstairs and outside to have a cigarette. Right. Okay, so you think it, this should have happened, though? You know, we always, we have to bring it back to the upcoming health care laws, of course, which... Are, are just a it's a mess right now shouldn't we have done something like this before we came out with Obamacare and whatever you want to call it Ab absolutely I think the lobbyist the legislation is too strong with the tobacco companies so they have they have like the other countries we talk about 40 other countries they have fended this off for years okay poisoning the American public and the people by not giving them the proper warnings. This is going to be shocking to the people when the people actually see these, these, these cigarette packages and start to absorb really what this can do to you. I think the guy smoking through the trach, that's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy, actually. It's, it's really freaky to look at, right. too. And they tested 36 of them. So just think, they had 36 pictorials they tested. They took the top nine. That were basically the nastiest. Yes. Jordan, you've been in marketing and advertising forever. Right? You're the king of, you're I'm king, not that old yet, am I? King of advertising <laughs> here. You think this then will work? Yes, 